Hi, welcome to another video tutorial from Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use this laser transmitter and this laser receiver to detect the ray of laser and turn on a buzzer or do something like this. When the ray shines here, we detect it and we turn on something or do some action. So this can be done in two ways. One way would be that the ray always shines and you detect the existence, uh, existence of a uh, laser beam when something goes in between and it uh, creates an obstacle, you detect it. Or the other way would be that if there is an obstacle all the time, let's say the door is open and if the door opens or an object moves, the ray uh, reaches the sensor. So you put it and align it like that, so it's aligned all the time and it's blocked. So when the obstacle is removed, alarm is triggered. So this can be applied in um, automation, robotics, and many, many other applications. You can get the code for this project by clicking at the link at the description below, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. This is the a transmitter module, 5 milliwatt laser here is installed and uh, when you connect it to 5 volts this resistor is preventing extra current so if you wanted to connect it directly of course you can modify this module and make it work with other voltages but this is made for 5 volts and then we have 3 pins here, the middle pin is just extra, it's useless, not connected to anything and then we have negative, this is connected to the ground and then on the other side we have S signal or positive. In this video I'm connecting this to 5 volts separate voltage but if you want to experiment you can get the 5 volts from Arduino 5 volts and it will work fine. So this the this module is 14.8 millimeter the width so the length of the module is 18.8 millimeter but if you want to calculate the so from that side to the end, it's 23.4 millimeter. So the receiver module is 18.5 millimeter in terms of length. In terms of width, it's 15.4 millimeter. One thing good about this uh, module is that you can remove this and connect wire and extend it and put it in another place. So that's very good, they, they made it with this socket so you can add and remove it. So let me explain the code here. Uh, uh, the input, this number two is the input from receiver of uh, laser sensor. When it's sensed, we just assign number two, so pin two is there. Pin 8 is an action pin which is connected to the buzzer in this case, which you can do anything you want after that. So these two would be, will be used instead of the number 2 or 8, so I will use detect and action. And then inside the setup, which starts from here to here, we define the serial monitor to print this text for us. So we have to initialize it with a serial.begin with 9600 baud, 9600 baud is at the bottom of the screen, so this number must match that. And then we have the serial monitor print, which print the top text that you just saw. And then we set the uh, detect pin as input pin. Detect means two, so this is as if I type two here. And then action as if I type eight, so eight as an output. That's for the action. So this three is extra. So after this, we go inside the loop. Inside the loop, we read, we say read, we say digital read detect, which means go and read the pen two. This is as if I type two. So the result will be stored in, in the in integer variable called detected. And here we say F detected is equal high. So when the laser beam is detected, this will be this value will be high. So then we say digital write action, which is pen eight high. So this sets the buzzer on or whatever else you want to do and it prints the text detected. So from here to here, this is where you will remove this and put whatever you want. You can move a, a servo, you can send an alarm, you can activate a camera to take picture or whatever action you want. So it can be here. F 
that detected is not high, that means else. If it's not, then action is low, so the buzzer will stop. As you can see, the buzzer is now not making any buzz, and it says, and also it prints no laser. And after that, we just wait 200 milliseconds, which is uh, one fifth of a second, so five times a second. It just reads it after this. It goes, and the loop continues. So, so the module here, this, uh, this goes to ground through the blue. So this is connected here. The last pin is a 5 volts. It goes to the 5 volts. And the middle pin is the out or the signal, which is connected to pin 2. The transmitter is connected separately to 5 volts. Or you can connect it the the ground, or you can connect on on this side the ground to the ground and then five volts to the five volts. You can get from Arduino as well. The buzzer is a five volt buzzer. It has two pins. So one pin is longer, which is a positive. Also, it has been labeled at the top as five volts. So I've connected it here on the breadboard, and from breadboard this is connected to the ground. I have extra ground here and this is connected to the pin 8 where the, it receives the signal and triggers. Now here is a demonstration again with the screen here. The laser is now in here. So now the laser is shining on the receiver here. As you can see here we see detected. When I go up it says no laser no laser but when it beams on it it says detected and also the buzzer is buzzing so because this is very sensitive to the laser beam even if i shine it here directly the reflection will turn it on as you can see so keep in mind that it's it the reflection will go to that so you see in here it doesn't work because it doesn't reflect but in in this area when it reflects it gets it. it if it goes a little away it doesn't work here it doesn't work and here it works because it's reflecting or directly uh, beam it thank you for watching this was introduction to the laser receiver and transmitter project please thumb up the video if you like it and also please subscribe and share the video, I appreciate it.